Hey, this is Eran Stern for creativecow.net. In this tutorial, I will show you my version of the most wanted tornado text effect. First, let's take a look of what we will create here. As you can see, for this effect, there are many resources in the cow library itself. There is a wonderful tutorial for creating 3D ribbon text by David Langley but I will show you some different method. This method was developed by my guru Brian Muffet and demonstrated very nicely by Mr. Ko Maruyama. But I will take it a step further. We will combine it with a real actor and in the first part we will also use Adobe Illustrator in order to help us to generate the tornado swivel effect. And in the second part, I'll show you how to create the floor displacement and those green fireflies you see here. So there is much to be done. Let's just close the footage window, come out of full screen and let's begin. In order to save some time, I've already pre-cooked this composition for us. This includes a couple of layers. The first you can see is of course my brother Yuval, I call him Private Dancer, and if I will scrub the timeline you will see that he's dancing in the middle of the screen. Oh yeah baby! And there is also a floor layer and a wall layer. All these layers are three-dimensional layers, which means that if we will take the orbit camera tool and just orbit around our scene, we will see how it was built. Pretty simple. And we will use this text in order to build it from the ground up. I will return to the arrow tool and let's show the text. And this text is just a line that repeats itself. And it says, dance around, it's party time. But if I will just hold position and just scrub it, you will see that I just duplicate this sentence. There is one here and of course there is also one after. So three times should be enough for our needs. What we will do here is marry this text with a path and using the wonderful After Effects CS3 per character 3D we will make it grow from the bottom up like a tornado. In order to create the tornado shape I suggest to use Adobe Illustrator. You can also create it in After Effects, but there is a special tool inside Illustrator which will help us and we will copy the path from Illustrator back into After Effects. So let me switch to Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. It doesn't matter which size it is. And here under the Line tool, you can also find the Spiral tool and the spiral tool will basically draw you a spiral. So if you will just place it in the middle and just start to do it, it will behave more or less like this. If you see a different shape in your view, you can use the control or command and just make these lines appear more or less close to each other. So I will say that we need something like this and I will continue to stretch it until the top. Also another tip is if you hold down the cursor key, the up arrow or the lower arrow will add some more segment to your spiral. So you can just play with it until you see fit and I think that this will do so I will just hold off my mouse, come back to the arrow tool and while it's still selected go under edit and copy this shape into memory. Now we will return to After Effects and our text is still selected so we could go under Edit and we will paste the shape inside our text. Now we want the text to follow our mask. So let me close and open the text property once again. We can close the transform here and under Text use Path option and under Path you should find Mask number 1. So now the text will align to our mask, but it is still two-dimensional, so let's close the path option. We'll go up, and here in the animate button, let's make sure that we will enable per character 3D. Now with this enabled, we can add our animators, and we will use two animators in order for this to work. The first animator will be a rotation animator, 
and we will have to add a second animator but before doing so let's just work with this one using the X rotation we will change the angle here from 0 to 90 degree and this will of course flip our text onto the path but now it's 90 degree towards us and we will need to change it so we will just go down into the transform of the layer and this layer now behaves like a 3D layer because we enable the 3D per character qualities to it and now what I want to do is go here under X rotation and instead of 0 let's go in the opposite way let's go minus 90 degree so now the text is here and it's standing on our path so now we are halfway through you can close this animator make sure you select the text layer itself and go and add a second animator and now we will choose position in the position we can change the position of the layer and you can see that it's going up and down and I will just make it somewhere like here maybe 130 just to give you round numbers to work with and now we will open the range selector for this animator for the position animator and under advance we will change the shape of it from square to ramp up by enabling this option we made the position of the text to ramp up this text so if now we will return let's close this advance and return to the position and just play with it then we can define how tall our tornado text will be so I will guess somewhere around 300 is a good number now if you want the text to swivel around the actor you should actually do it here inside the transform of the whole layer so at the first frame we want to make sure our text is completely under the floor so something like this and you can record a keyframe here at the last frame we want to make sure that our text is all the way up so you can hold down shift and just make sure that you don't see it on the last frame now if you want it to appear like it's rotating around our actor we can also record a keyframes in the Z rotation here so the Z rotation will be responsible for the swiveling of the text so let's go to the first frame and we can start with whatever number you like but I will just make sure that in the first frame we probably want to see the text going behind his legs so I will get something from this point so this will be of course our first keyframe and I will record the keyframe here my value is 113 and now at the end we will just make sure that we will do a full minus one revolution this will give us the desired angle around our actor now remember this is a three-dimensional text which means that if we will take our orbit camera you will see that it is true 3d and it's working beautiful in our scene let me show you something else let me just go to the top of this we will collapse the text layer let's press the shy icon and you can see that I've already prepared for us two lights and a camera to work with so let's make sure that we see the lights. so I'll make them visible and we can also make our camera visible so now instead of using custom view one we can actually look at our active camera or our 15 millimeter camera which is the same of course this camera already holds a movement so if you want to check it you can go to the first frame and you can see the camera starts from above and at the end frame it's just finishing somewhere else and here at the end frame I can see that we can still see our text so let's just make sure that our text is still selected I will press U in order to reveal our keyframes and make sure that at the last frame we we'll just want our text to be completely out of the frame and this is due to the new camera that we just introduced to our scene so this will look much better and let me just stand here for a moment so you can see the realism of the shot the text and our actor produce very nice shadows on the wall behind them and I think it's just looking very nice if you want you can also make this layer to use motion blur and enable motion blur for the whole scene 
let me return to the first frame change our view to fit up to 100% make this composition full frame and create a RAM preview to check the result of part 1 as you can see it's looking very nice and quite realistic as well in the next part I will show you how to get the floor to react to the text and also how to create those green radioactive fireflies you saw at the beginning but this is for next time until then I hope you won't get too much dizziness for watching our talented dancer with the text swivel all over his body so I will meet you at the second part and until then this is Eran Stern for creativecow.net saying goodbye